Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to solve exercise question from book topics in algebra from chapter 4 vector space and modules. Question is, if S and T are any two homomorphisms from vector space V to vector space W and let S of Vi is equal to T of Vi for all elements Vi of a basis of vector space V, prove that homomorphisms S and T are equal. So, proof let V over field F and W over field F are finite dimensional vector spaces of dimension N. And let B is equal to the set consisting of vectors V1, V2, V3 up to so on Vn is any arbitrary basis of vector space V. Now, since B is any arbitrary basis of vector space V, then for any vector say u in vector space v you will have a unique representation corresponding to basis b of the form u is equal to alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus and so on plus alpha and vn where these alpha i's are unique scalar coming from field f now we have s and t are any two homomorphisms from vector space v to vector space w such that s of vi is equal to t of vi for all vectors vi in vector space v then for any vector u in vector space v having representation of this type alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus and so on plus alpha and vn with respect to basis b we have s of u will be equal to s of replacing this u by this linear combination alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus and so on plus alpha and vn so we have s of u is equal to s of alpha 1 v1 plus s of alpha 2 v2 plus and so on plus s of alpha and vn next we have s of u is equal to alpha 1 s of v1 plus alpha 2 s of v2 plus and so on plus alpha and s of vn since s is a homomorphism so we have used property of a homomorphism but we know that for all basis vectors vi we have s of vi is equal to t of vi and therefore this can be written as s of u is equal to alpha 1 t of v1 plus alpha 2 t of v2 plus and so on plus alpha and t of vn since s of v1 is t of v1 s of v2 is t of v2 similarly s of vn is t of vn in the next step we have s of u is equal to we can write this as t of alpha 1 v1 plus t of alpha 2 v2 plus and so on plus t of alpha and vn again in the next step using property of homomorphism we can write this as s of u is equal to t of alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus and so on plus alpha and vn so we get s of u is equal to t of u since this is the representation for vector u now note that as u is any arbitrary vector in vector space v and we get s of u is equal to t of u for such vector so we must have s of u is equal to t of u for all vectors u in vector space v and thus from the definition of equality of two maps we must have these two homomorphisms s and t must be equal and this proves our result 